I have a scheduled full and incremental backup that I would like to edit. So that way the next time it runs, it will run with different parameters. So it doesn't matter which backup I choose. I can click on either one of them and it will let me edit either the full or the incremental if it's all under the same backup heading that we see here. So these are the full and incrementals for a backup that was created. So when I double click on either one of those, it shows me my full backup at the top and my incremental backup at the bottom right. So I can edit several things. One is I can edit the day and time it runs by clicking the edit button. And here we see that it's being run every two weeks on Friday at 11 p.m. So let's say, no, nope, let's do that every three weeks and we'll do it on Saturday. I could change to months or years as well. I can do the same with incremental. So I can say, yes, we're going to do an incremental backup every night, but we're going to do it at a different time. So I'm going to say at 10 o'clock because for some reason it's taking longer. I've got a lot more data on there. Now, other things I can do is I can make edits to the storage by clicking storage on the left-hand side. So if I have more than one type of storage, I could change, say, from a local disk to a cloud disk if I have that. And then under network, I can change the network interface. I can change notification as to who's going to be notified. And I can make changes to the verification. So if I don't want to verify, I can choose do not verify. Or if I change my mind, I can say, yep, do that at the end of the job. Under advanced open file, I can choose snapshot technology to backup files that are, have been left open by users. And by default, it's going to automatically choose which option to choose. But if you want to specify either the system or the hardware, you can do that. So the hardware is going to be a little bit more reliable, a little bit faster. But if you're running on a virtual machine, then you're really only going to be able to use the system. So the best thing to do is just leave it set to automatic and let it decide. So there's all different other kinds of options that we can change here. But if I click OK and click Edit on the other side of the backup, then I can actually make changes to the files themselves. So let's say that I want to exclude certain things, maybe the system state, or maybe I want to no longer back up SQL Server. I can uncheck that, or I can go in and uncheck specific folders, or I can go into Files, and we'll see those show up on the right hand side. And I can uncheck files underneath folders. And you don't see the box clear. You actually just see an X through it. But if you do X a box and expand it, you'll see any files and folders underneath it are actually unchecked. So it's a little bit of a quirky thing there that they have. So once I've edited it the way I want it, I'll click OK. And now my backup job time and dates are changed as well as the files that I'm backing up.